Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chenli's official channel. Today, we're introducing you the whole process of replacing battery for iPhone 12 and how Chenli's products get involved in the whole process. When a repair shop receives an effective phone, the first step we suggest is to test it out if the phone ever got disassembled before. So here we recommend you to use our air tightness tester. Align the tester to the same car slot and then pump the air to the phone. Here we see the tester needle bounced back immediately, in which case means this phone gets disassembled before. Once we confirm the phone battery needs to be replaced, the first step is to disassemble the phone. Use ISO 3D screwdriver type C to take off the charging pod screws. Set the phone on the heating mat and wait until the temperature gets to around 90 degrees centigrade. Now it's time to choose a praying tool which also code as an opener. Chianli has now over 20 types of openers which are made of different materials and designed as different shapes. Here we can see the first two types are the newly arrived carbon fiber praying tools. The great thing of carbon fiber is it's hard enough, flexible enough, and also magnetic. The thickness of our praying tool is only 0.2 mm, which is the thinnest you can find in the market. It can not only help with opening the phone, more importantly, is during the whole process, carbon fiber would not damage the phone components or the phone frame. Also, there are two peanut-shaped opener or Chenley's best-selling products for many years. They have been proved thousands of times that they are good quality, smart design, and easy to use. Technicians can choose based on your own habit. Open the phone and disassemble the screen completely use an ISO 3D screwdriver type B and take it out from the old housing so we can have its BMS, which is the battery controller board. I will now need to remove several protective layers covering the BMS. Before cutting off the BMS board from the old battery, we recommend you to compare it to the new battery cell and trim down the new one's nickel tabs a little bit so the tabs are long enough to solder the board on and not too long to take too much space inside the phone. When cutting the BMS board free, be sure not to short the positive and negative battery terminals together as it will spark. Here we're using a Mega Idea ceramic scissors to cut since it's sharp enough and insulated. Now it's time to solder the original battery BMS board to the new battery cell and here we're using a sport welder which is known as Macaron, a very useful and portable device. It has both auto and manual mode, in total 6 power levels. Before solder the battery, please try to work on the extra nickel tabs first. All you have to do is to hold the two sticks on the nickel where you want the weld and it automatically does everything else within a second. So it's time to get the battery all welded up. Make sure the battery is the right way around, position them at the right place on the fixture, and start welding. Check their connections once it's done. Now we need to change the battery data before we assemble the new battery to the phone because even the battery cell is brand new, but it's now carrying the old BMS board. So the battery health data and cycle data stayed as the old one. Here we need the help of the programmer iCopy and the tag arm battery flex. And also if the phone you're fixing is 11 series above, you will need a host computer as well. Connect everything and open the software. Change the data to the target one. For more information about how to use iCopy, please refer to our other videos. One last step before reassemble the battery is to use another battery to solve the pop-up window problem. This is a third battery showed up in this whole process. Let's call it battery number three. Install battery number three to the phone and you will see a pop-up window says important battery message. Or if you go to the setting, it will say this battery may not be original. Disassemble the battery number three and now assemble the new battery. Boot up the phone, open settings. We should now see the non genium message vanished and the battery percentage shows 100 as we revised. Do you know why we need and how the battery number three killed the pop-up window problem? 
leave your opinions at the comment area. This is the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching.